Throughout the Pacific Campaign, New Zealand, Australian and other Allied forces would often work together on cooperative missions against the Japanese. With aircraft serviced and prepared, any strike mission would begin with a final briefing for the pilots and aircrews. Thereafter, the only thing remaining was for the aircraft to take to the skies. Today's strike is against an airfield on a small Pacific island from which the Japanese are launching suicide bomber missions. As the Allied pilots prepare for the mission, the Japanese ground crew continue to ready their cherry blossom piloted bombs for the next attack on the Allies. First away is the boomerang pilot, who will find and mark the target for the supporting Spitfire and Kitty Hawk, who are the next to take off from their base. Nearing his target, the boomerang pilot circles trying to identify the camouflage Japanese positions. While the supporting fighters circle high overhead, watching for enemy aircraft. The Japanese ground crew is not yet aware of the danger. Suddenly, the Japanese fire on the boomerang giving away their positions. The boomerang now speeds in to drop a smoke flare, which will pinpoint the target for the other fighters. Another diving run by Smokey Joe to begin the attack and to drop a second smoke flare is met with a hail of anti-aircraft fire from the ground. Finally, the Spitfire and Kitty Hawk arrive to begin their deadly attack on the target. Bombs are dropped with delayed fuses to enable the low-flying fighters time to get clear of the target before they explode. A second bomb run gets close to the target but the main result is the ignition of a grass fire on the airfield.
a final strafing run by all three aircraft and then success target destroyed leaving the Japanese ground crew a fiery mess to contend with the boomerang pilot ever humble, performs a victory roll before heading home with his comrades.